So the media tries to hide it. They try to show you what they want you to see and want you to believe. All day long. They are slowly taking all that we have away from us. Think about it. Thousands of troops deployed. Mm -hmm. All for what? Mm. Fighting a war that will never end and all for the greatest profit of those companies and contractors involved in their political ties. I have a question. Here's my question. I've often wondered this. Why do we want American men and women signing up to risk their lives? Wouldn't it be cool? I don't know if cool is the right word. I don't know how to phrase this one. But how come if you, it, mm, people who cross the border and want to be here, how come there isn't a cool, you want a green card? Show your loyalty to the country. You're now Patriotism. in the army. Patriotism. Yeah. Why is that not a thing? If you're illegal, you can't enlist. Because that would, uh, that would uh, be a rub against the other agenda that they have going. I feel like that's probably correct. At the end of the day, they win. Mm -hmm. and I don't want to say that we lose, but they definitely win. You were, you were saying, we were talking earlier, previous video, and you said how many Americans have time off if they had to whatever, how many Americans could take this much time off? And my thought was, how long until we're no longer allowed to say how many Americans, but how many people living in the United States? Yeah. Yeah. No, you're right. Because soon there's going to be more people than Americans. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's what I feel like. And then those that are actually traveling and engaging in some tourism, mm -hmm. vacationing, may not necessarily be Americans. Mm -hmm. Huh. Yeah. There's a lot of foreign travelers. But they definitely being the evil spirits or fallen angels, perhaps. For me, no vaccination. So I guess I can't be forced to fight this time. No, you can't. You you cannot be, that's the other thing, a lot of, uh, one reason a lot of people didn't get things done is because you can't be drafted if, I think I remember reading this correctly, you can't be drafted if you haven't had something done, but that was when that was mandatory. I don't think that's mandatory anymore. Yeah, I was gonna say, maybe that will change with everything else that yeah. is changing around us. Yeah. Actually, I saw some footage today of, a, you know, a little over a year ago, commander in chief was on TV showing him getting, getting his. Or and getting it, something. Exactly. Yeah, How, where's the proof? Where's the proof in any of that? Where's the proof that it was even him? Nah. It, listen, I'm just saying. Remember, you remember Captain America, I think it was it Winter Soldier? Where Nick, Nicholas J. Fury was killed, mm -hmm. but they gave him a, a sedative that basically slowed his mm -hmm. heart rate down to yeah. appear dead, but he wasn't. Yeah. Well, you also have to think about in actual movies. I mean, the things that we're seeing on TV with government and anything else, in movies, you don't know when the stand-in came in and did this, and then they put back into the, the original actor. You have no idea where, where the switcheroos take place. The movies are actually exposing their hidden agenda. And the movie stars are now doing it too. Movie stars, celebrities, uh, personalities, Ice Cube, mm -hmm. Jill Scott. I didn't know about Jill Scott. Oh, you might want to check out Jill I Scott. I love her voice. Yeah, so do so many other people after hearing her sing and decipher her new national anthem. Okay, I'm ready. YouTubers, Coin Bureau. Go check out Coin Bureau. But at the end of the day, we have to get ready. We have to get prepared. Mm -hmm. They're coming. And what are we supposed to do? It depends on what you're talking about. Do we hurry up and leave and just get out? Or do we stand our ground and declare what is right and explain to them in no uncertain terms that we will not be destroyed? We will not be eliminated. We will not be forced down to beg and plead for scraps and barely maintain survival. I'd pick the second one. You choose the latter? Mm-hmm. 
I mean, because if you're for universal basic income, if you're for welfare, food stamps, if you're for um, uh, basically communism in a socialist society, basically mimicking uh, CCP, then you choose the former. But I know what my choice is. I do have a question. Okay, so here's my question. So you know here, our insurance, our health insurance is stupid, stupid expensive. And it's because um, Americans and people living in America are generally ridiculously unhealthy because of the food that you know our government allows and it things like is that. It's also too expensive to, for most people to afford. Yeah, but if you go to other countries that have universal health care, they have cleaner food. Therefore, they're not needing to use that health care nearly as much. Nor does their health care cost as much. Yes. So why can't we do that? We can. We just choose not to. Because there's no profit in that there's profit in this well some of those other countries also stand up push back and fight that was the other thing and a lot of us don't so well they're breeding a new generation society of, of weaker entitled lazy brainwashed yeah, easily so. manipulated our kids gonna have a really hard time finding somebody in the future if all the Kids her age or the guys her age are TikTok you know, dancers yeah, the, with painted nails. She's and, always going to have a, us in the back of her yeah. mind as she listens and understands mm -hmm. the truth. Because mm -hmm. she'll randomly start talking about stuff, and I'm like, I didn't think you were paying attention to that. I didn't think you heard that. And she's like, No, I listened. This amendment, the 14th Amendment, the Second Amendment, and it's like, she's doing good. She's doing great. She's doing great. Now, I don't want anything from. Any of you, ladies and gentlemen, except maybe a thumbs up. Go ahead and hit that like button on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you like this content. And uh, I'm just going to ask that everybody take a moment, sit and think. Think about all that has happened, everything that is happening and will happen very soon, if not tomorrow. What are you ready for? What all do you still have left to get prepared? What worries you? And what causes you stress and anxiety? Mm -hmm. Share it in the comments. Let it all out. Just share it. I think that this will begin to help progress and manifest the life that we have all dreamed of. It doesn't matter how old you are, where you live, what color you are, how much money is in your bank account or isn't in your bank account. Today is a new day. Can me tell you what I'm worried about? What you got? Or unprepared wise. Uh, if there were something where you had to run for any reason, whatever it was, what are the safe places to go? That's where, that's my list that I'm working on. Like if there's a hurricane, you had to go this way, where do you go? If there's a fire, where do you go? If there's something else, where do you go? That's a challenge. Yeah. Because honestly. You can bug it, out it, it all depends. day, but where it do you bug out because to? Because where you go, which would be the closest, mm -hmm. is going to ultimately, for a lot of people, not be a viable option. Why? Because of the main reason that I've been talking about since I started this channel in February of last year is that those areas are going to see a huge spike and in increase in fees and costs and charges. Mm -hmm. And if you can't afford it, you can't stay. Mm -hmm. And the, people are like, you should have your own piece of land out here, out here, out here. Cool. But you still need enough money to buy that land. You still need enough money to pay the get taxes that, land, on that land, to pay the taxes on that land, develop that land, maintain that, that land. land. You're not going to just bug out, mm -mm. go gray mm -mm. on raw, undeveloped land. It's not going to happen. You might as well just sleep in the park or something. Mm -hmm. But like I said, today is a new day, and we can make anything possible that we choose to see and believe mm -hmm. and not be blinded by the deception and half-truths 
manipulated titles and thumbnails, headlines spewed daily on MSMs and other agenda pushing networks that exist on this very same platform. Mm -hmm. You can't say blinded ever in a comment or a sentence. Blinded by the light <laughs> every single time in my brain without fail. But I do want to ask one more question before we go. Me or them? Yes. Them. Okay. That question is, who's with me? <laughs>